us. This video is brought to you by the Streaming Advisor, and you see that we're looking at the Onubox Pure Linux 64-bit media player. The reason I'm showing you this is because we're not doing an unboxing video on this. Why? Because the box itself looks exactly like the other Onubox boxes. So it's kind of unnecessary. So we're skipping that. But I just want to tell you, the difference between this box and others, just right off the top, it can do 4K with 60 hertz. It has an HDMI 2.0 video port and comes with an HDMI 2.0 cable. So that's taken care of. That's cool. Like others, it has a gigabit internet. But this one has an Amlogic S905 64-bit processor. We'll take a look at that a little later. It has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. You can stop it and start it. It has full suspend and resume. And of course, it has CloudWord, which helps you configure everything. And it has the speed test already installed, that new speed test for Kodi. Otherwise, it's got all the same great features that we liked about it before. It's just faster. So if you've never seen this, what we start off with on here is starts me off at this wizard. And the wizard gets you all set up with your device. So just to give you an idea, we'll go next. See, it starts with the welcome, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read this to you. It's helpful information, but you can read it. Next, we go to a network setup. And what I think I'm going to do, just to save some time and give us the best possible connection here, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in with my Ethernet. Network cable. And you're not really seeing this. I'm just going to plug in my network cable. Could hear a click. Just like the radio. Okay, so that's plugged in. We're going to skip Wi Fi. If you needed to use Wi Fi, you can find any network in range from here, and then you just put in your Wi Fi password. All right. Next, it looks for an update, so you can ask if it has one. No. Oh, it is available. Sorry. All right. See that? That is nice and fast. Well, we didn't exactly open up the box and look at the new processor. I mean, look at that. I'm just going to reboot, and we will join you on the other side of that. Now you see, after the update, you might have noticed there's a different. there was a different coloring on the screen. So, but what we're going to do now is go on ahead and continue the wizard. So I'm sure we don't have another update. We'll take a look. No other update available. Okay. So we're going to go next. We don't have a backup to restore. If you did, you could go to it and it would prompt you to, you know, grab anything, you know, USB stick or anything that has your Cody backup on it. You have a chance to cal calibrate your screen here. So you basically follow what it's saying here. So if you want to adjust it, you can say yes. We'll just say yes for this case. And so if you want to change it to something else, you have your choices. I'm just going to leave it where it is. And we're going to go ahead, and it says adjust the arrow to change the amount of overscan. So here you'll have a chance to you know, change the size of the screen just to see what 
you need it to be at. And what you want to do is keep those lines just off the screen. Bottom right. Let's see, where is it? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we are. Now we want to see where the subtitles are going to be, and we'll put them right there. And OK. And make sure this is perfectly square. Golly, it's like an optical illusion, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> if you can tell whether this is a perfect square, you're a genius. Repost. OK. Now it's going to do crop left. Oh, this is this again. Okay. So we'll go ahead and press back to get out of that. And I think we are calibrated. And here's where we're going to select the skin. Uh, this device comes with Confluence, this Ember mod, which is basically Confluence except red. And the way it, you know, it's default blue skin. You always have the choice to look into more skins. And here, if you have a hard drive or a NAS with movies and things like that on it, you can go to it and you can get everything set up by adding videos. You just have to know the path. Here's where you would enter it. Cody is fantastic for organizing your files. Music is the same drill. Add to the music library. Now here's a key point is installing CloudWords. We're going to skip it right now. I'm just going to show you how CloudWord works if you haven't ever seen it before. We're going to go to next and we're finished. So you see the starting screen for the Arnu box and before we go too deep into this, I'd like to go into some system settings. I want to look at the hardware a little bit. All right, so take a look at the memory used right now. Only 10%. Of course, we haven't installed anything, but if you look here, like a lot of Onubox products, you have the four active cores. One of them isn't even in use. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> the fourth one just pops up every now and then. But you see this is Cody 16.1, and you get a feel for just sort of part of the capabilities. It's got solid storage for a device of its size. It's not like, you know, a gig of memory or anything like that, but it's got enough space for you to run Kodi and access your stuff. And if you want to, you plug in an, uh, a hard drive. The rest of it is pretty basic, but that is what you're going to see when you get your system really booted up. So, we were talking about CloudWord. CloudWord is something that's unique to Onubox, and here's how it works. These guys recommend the CloudWord USA, and what, but what CloudWord does is it pulls a, basically a Kodi backup from a cloud-based server. You can even make your own, and it has like a pre-configured setup, and USA is one of my favorites. And so what we're going to do is jump in, and what it's going to do is install a bunch of US-based add-ons. Wow, that's fast. That is incredible. 
All right, well, we'd like to restart. I'm going to say no. I'm just going to show you what it did. Go home and go to add-ons and see all these things are now in place. See? Oh, it's loading them. No reason to scan through right now. Well, let us look. Okay. So, it put 65 add-ons there. If you look at where it says add-ons, 65. We went from, like, YouTube to 65 add-ons. And while we're at it, we'll just open one up, see how fast it loads. Let's see. CBS this morning. Oh, this is. This is apparently audio. Let's see. Trump trouble. His top campaign manager is fired. Hmm. Maybe CBS is not the add-on to take a look at. Let's look at this. Oh, there we are. Yeah, apparently CBS News is not the app that I thought it was. But there you are, taking a look right at CNET. And that loaded really fast. We'll load another video. Stop that one in the background and PlayStation VR. And it loads. No problem. So, that just gives you a quick idea of the speed of it. It looks very clear. Now, I don't have a 4K TV. Like I said, it loads, it'll do 4K, but that's not something that I've gotten. So, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it. And Honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell on your computer anyway. In general, we'll take a look at programs. It comes with a couple of things in place, but not much. You have the speed test, which will show you just how fast your internet is. Let's see how we do here. Hopefully it won't put us off too long here. Let's see. Please wait. Oh, crazy they put Arnubant's advertising on an Arnubant speed test, huh? How are we doing? How am I doing? Nice, 96.22 megabits per second. That's pretty good, guys. <laughs> I'm actually getting pretty much what I'm supposed to be getting, grade A. Okay, well, good for them. Thank you, Time Warner. I don't say that often. But you see it has just the cloud word and system settings. So let me show you one other thing that you can do with this, and this is cool. There's a new cloud word for the Ares Wizard. And if you like the Ares Wizard, you'll love this. Somebody put this together, sent it my way. Thank you, mystery Ares Wizard person. Look at that. It's already set up. So we don't want to restart it, but look at this. We're going to go into Programs, and now the Ares Wizard will be in the Programs. Now, of course, Ares Wizard never seems to start the first time you tap it. Let's see what it does. Okay. Thank you. And next. It's probably going to kick us out or something. Oh, okay. And the updates. Yep. Just like I thought. Okay. So press OK one more time. And there we are. And so now you've got the Ares Wizard. So by loading this, it gives you a whole ton of builds that you can put into place. So basically, what you get here with the 
Honorbox 64-bit pure Linux system is. Cloudwork, a very fast processor. You get the remote you know, that Honorbox has been shipping for a year now with the playback buttons. Like I said, if you really want to see what this thing looks like, you can, you can take a look at another video. I've, the other Honorbox products all look, they all look the same. The new ones, they're the nice metal chrome case. I'm just not a big fan of the unboxing videos, I'm sorry. But in general, this is a very, very nice device. It is very fast, as you saw. I mean, just the downloads are, boom, lightning fast. So, I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it helpful. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. We're about to break 7,000 subscribers. And we want to keep on helping as many people as we can. So... As usual, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.